So when you um, are asked to name covalent or molecular compounds, it's a little different than naming ionic compounds like we just talked about. Remember with um, ionic compounds, uh, you just say um, the names of the two ions and then drop the ending of the anion and put I to E. But with covalent compounds, you've got to tell the number of the actual atoms in there. So let's try some of these covalent compounds or molecular compounds. So this first one, silicon and oxygen, right? But there's two oxygens for every silicon. So you don't, so you say silicon. If there's only one of the first element that's listed, you just write the element itself. So silicon, but there's two oxygens, so you say dioxide. Di referring to two. Okay, so let's try this one. So this one has two nitrogens, so we don't just put nitrogen, we put dinitrogen and what's the prefix for five? Pent pent oxide. So with oxygen or when it's got a vowel next, you drop the A of pent, penta. So carbon, right, because there's not more than one, so it's just carbon. But there's four chlorines, so it's carbon, tetra, fluoride. And this one's iodine. If you don't remember seven, make sure you remember it. Hept or hepta in this case. Hepta fluoride. Okay, so that's how you name molecular compounds. A little different than 